Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 5th of February, 2019. Article published on the 5th, written by Andrew O'Reilly. That's capital O, possibly capital R E I L L Y of Fox News. New California Governor Newsom makes early gun crackdown push. There's an embedded video of this dirtbag. You know that he was a full-blown alcoholic? Huh? <laughs> Gun control activists in California have found a good friend in the state's new governor, Gavin Newsom. In his first few weeks in office, Newsom has quickly moved to reduce the number of Californians with firearms and given activists hope that a number of measures vetoed by former Governor Joey Brown will once again see the light of day. Quote, we have all the ingredients we need to make meaningful change, State Assemblyman Jesse Gabriel said Monday at a press conference in Sacramento. We have expanded Democratic majority in both houses. We have a bright and ambitious new governor with a real track record on these issues who wants to make this a priority. In his state budget plan, which was released just days after he took office in January, Newsom proposed an additional $5.6 million in funding, about 50% more than Brown allocated in his last budget, to seize firearms from thousands of people who are ineligible to be gun owners because of past criminal convictions or mental illness. The gun seizure program has been underfunded in the past with the result being around 10,000 people in the state were able to purchase firearms but later were convicted of a felony or found to have serious mental issues. You mean like Newsom has? Newsom also wants state lawmakers to expand the California Department of Justice unit tasked with enforcing gun sale laws. In his proposed budget, he asks for more funding for the Firearms Violence Research Center at the University of California, Davis. In his inauguration speech, Newsom promised to be tough on a gun lobby willing to sacrifice the lives of our children to line their pockets. Newsom's outspoken support for stricter farm laws, he was the main supporter in 2016 for Proposition 63, a measure that outlawed large ammunition magazines, mandated background checks for people who buy bullets, handed out fines for failing to report when guns are stolen or lost, and created a process for taking guns away from people convicted of a felony. Has many control activists and lawmakers in Sacramento seeing a new opportunity for legislation that was vetoed under Brown. Despite having some of the country's toughest gun laws, California under Brown, a Democrat and gun owner, saw a number of measures struck down by the former governor's veto pen. During a press conference on Monday, state lawmakers and activists rattled off a list of measured vetoes by Brown that they hope to revive now that Newsom has taken office, including limiting purchase of rifles and shotguns to one per month and putting more regulations on parts that can be turned into homemade weapons. Stopping gun violence take courage, the courage to do what's right. Former Arizona Representative Gabby Gifford, who was seriously wounded during a 2011 assassination attempt, said at the press conference, Hey Gabby, that was a CIA MK Ultra hit. Jared Lafner doesn't even know what he did. He was programmed to shoot. To shoot you. <laughs> yeah, you think not. Think what you like. We must never stop fighting. Since the beginning of the year, California state legislators have already introduced measures to put 10-year firearm prohibitions on anyone convicted of two drug or alcohol crimes in a three-year period, requiring gun owners to lock up their weapons when they are not home, and a tax on gun sales that would help fund violence prevention programs. So how are they going to enforce this? They're just going to kick your front door down to see if you got your guns locked up, huh? <laughs> a bill that would permit more people to seek a gun violence restraining order against someone they believe possesses a danger to themselves or others has also been reintroduced. It was previously vetoed by Brown. 
All right, so if I decide to call the police and say that, well, I'm concerned about so-and-so, you know, he's posted some videos and he's shown a lot of different guns and it really worries me. <laughs> Are they going to kick my door down to take away my guns? Absolute bullshit. Newsom has so far remained quiet on the reintroduced pieces of legislation as they make their way through the state house. But spokesman Jesse Melgar said in an email to San Francisco Chronicle that the new governor is a big believer in strong gun safety laws. While Newsom's ascension to governor's mansion has gun control activists excited about the possibility of passing stricter regulations, gun rights group have widely panned Newsom's proposal and accuse the new governor of pandering to the base. Gavin Newsom has demonstrated he has little to no understanding of firearms and firearm policy. Craig Deleuze, a spokesman for the Firearms Policy Coalition, told the Los Angeles Times. For him, this is a PR issue, meaning he will probably sign whatever is put in front of him. He wants to run for president. You think that'll be in 2020? Huh? He might hang in there a little longer. But it won't be beyond the next presidential race in 2024. You think not? Well, think what you like. The guy's a piece of crap. What he should focus on is getting the crap off the streets in San Francisco, getting rid of the needles all over the place in San Francisco, cleaning up BART in San Francisco, getting rid of the garbage piled up in Southern California. The typhus epidemic is spreading. But he's got his ass in a sling. It should be in a sling. That's sort of what I think. This guy's a worthless Democrats. I'll attach the link. There's an embedded video you can hear Gabriel Gifford shooting her mouth off. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends, ask them to do the same.